on growing and this week they uh, welcome true food kitchen and we welcome chef david laser thank you so much for being here so i know we already have a location in dallas in uh in the preston center in dallas and now plano gets a location as well yep yeah that legacy west area has just happened and uh so but uh, well welcome to the neighborhood okay what are we going to do today uh, so today we have our ancient grain bowl. This okay. is actually one of probably our most popular bowls on the menu. Oh really? Okay. Um, so first we start out with the ancient grains and we bake that in the oven. Um, so with some turmeric, some ginger, some lemongrass and get a lot of aromatics going. Mm. Yeah, it smells good. Okay. Um, and then we start heating that up and while that's heating up we're actually going to start getting our um, vegetables kind of together. Yeah. So we have some snow peas. And then we have some charred onions. Ooh. And all of these are kind of really balance each other really mm -hmm. well too. Okay. So uh, it's a deconstructed bowl. So you can really get that perfect bite that you always want. Those seem really popular right now, huh? Yeah, they're kind of going around. <laughs> see them all over Pinterest. Uh, that and the poke bowl, which we have yes. a poke bowl on our menu as oh, you well. Do? Oh, so, so these are going in like a little oven then? Yep, they're going in an oven. How long does it take those? So. Uh, we just want to kind of warm them through. Right, okay. So nothing too crazy because you kind of want to keep that color, especially on those snow peas. Okay, yeah, so that's our grains are ready. Grains are ready to go, so we're just going to start plating. I'm going to go right down the middle here. And what's great about the grains, they're carbs, but these ones, some of them anyway, have, have protein in them as well. Yes, they do. Uh, and some omega-3s and a lot of good stuff. That's really healthy grains. So you, right. people go, oh, I don't, want, I don't want carbs. No, actually you do. Right. And then, so oh. here we have some sweet potatoes, and these are kind of warm through as well. All right, uh, not a lot of color, you. but yeah. we have uh, the miso glaze on them, so they're kind of ready to roll. Okay. Um, after nice. these are all heated up. Yep. Go ahead, so pop gonna, them out. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to go right on the plate. So just like I was saying before, it's kind of like that deconstructed feel to it. So just kind of going from left to right. Mm -hmm. So right with the portobello mushrooms and kind of keeping it nice and organized. I love it because everything on your menu just, it tastes so fresh. Yeah. Even like the pizza. Like I went in there and had pizza and I thought, oh, it's, gonna be, it's pizza. Well, it, it was it, it, like a taste like I hadn't had before. So really no good. guilt pizza, huh? Yeah. It, it, it really is because we don't really focus on the cheese as much where most pizza places do. We focus more on the ingredients that go on top. And I think I had like flour, like zucchini blossom or something pizza at one point. Uh, it was great. It's pretty possible. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. Uh, so after that, we're going to go right with our cilantro pumpkin seed pesto. Oh. And like I said, we can kind of just keep it. Who comes up with cilantro pumpkin seed pesto? I'm glad somebody <laughs> did. But well, the good thing about that is, is that, you know, there's mostly sometimes tree nuts in yeah. uh, pesto, so we keep ours with a seed oh. uh, just because we want to get away from those allergies. Yeah. So you guys really cater really to kind of every food preference. Yes, we do. We try. Um, and then hemp seeds right on the top. As a little bit of a garnish. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of flavors. And then finish it off with a little bit of salt on that avocado. Okay. Oh, absolutely amazing. And okay. that's really going to fill you up. I mean, that, that is not a huge bowl, but that will fill no, you up. No, I mean, you're, you're getting your bang for your buck on this one. Yeah. yeah. You got lunch, dinner, weekend brunch? Weekend brunch. Weekend brunch, brunch starts well. Saturday, Sunday at 10 a.m. Okay. We're going to put this recipe and a link to True Food Kitchen on our website, foxmornews.com. We'll be right back with a look at that holiday weekend forecast. Stick around.